assalamu alaikum guys today in this practical video i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of rcc columns which is designed for three story commercial building guys you can see this is commercial building construction and you can see practically its rcc columns also you can see guys the beam so let's get start guys here we have eight steel rods in each column which dia is 20 mm guys you can see longitudinal bars dia is 20 mm and we have total eight steel rods if you see its lateral tie dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 4 inches to the distance or to the height of l by 4 we have 4 inches spacing for lateral ties and you can see the hooks which are bent with 135 degree and the length of hooks are 9 inches The hooks should be also placed alternately. Guys, you can see clearly. Look here. After L H by 4 distance, the spacing is about 6 inches. So the spacing of lateral ties are from 100 to 150 mm. Guys, you can see clearly, these are steel reinforcement details for three-story commercial building. Ground floor plus two-story. So this is three-story now. So the hooks should be bent with 135 degree. Guys, you can see here. Let me show you the other columns. If you see guys, we don't have any overlapping length here. That's why because from the bottom, they did the proper cutting length for the column. If you see the other one, so same size, same steel reinforcement. If you see guys, the size of the column is 16 by 16 inches. So with concrete, this is 16 by 16 inches without concrete cover. This is 12 by 12 inches. Guys, you can see also the beam. Size of the beam is 12 by 18 inches. Depth is 18 inches and width is 12 inches. Look here, guys. So, uh, sometime in many constructions, especially in RCC column, you will see the lapping at this place, especially in L by 4 distance or L by, uh, H divided by 4. But here in this design we don't have because they did the proper cutting length and they did the proper calculation for this and also they followed the structural design. Look here guys. You can see here. So the column should be construct on the center. That's why because in many construction I, uh, I saw many construction works. So the columns are out for from the column junction uh, from the beam and column junction. So they, uh, they can provide anywhere. 
so this is wrong so this is the correct way which i'm showing you in this practical video you can see guys the other side on the top of this they will provide the plane beam look at here they will provide the plane beam same i show you on the other side guys you can see so this is from foundation from the ground level to the plinth level you can see this is third class bricks they used here because this is foundation so it's not important to use first class brick in the foundation because the project will become overcast look at here guys same design will be apply on this side hope this video can help you guys what i'm showing you in this video so this is the perfect design you can say so from the plinth level you can see the plinth beam on the top of this they will start brick masonry so actually this is commercial building so they will construct the shops marts here as you can see guys this is plinth beam depth is 18 inches width is 12 inches also guys this is the place for stairs you can see it's steel reinforcement which dia is 12 mm and laving is more than 1.5 meters so this is perfect for stairs Okay guys thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye